that's probably about this height right here. Okay. And then it'll act, it'll actually go up and then all the way over about here. I brought all this dirt in when I created these beds. Yeah. You expected it to settle and it didn't. Yeah, it didn't. So when you put the mulch on it year after year after year, the, the level just keeps rising. Okay. So I want to get it back down to where it should be. Here's how this is going to work from my standpoint. I okay. have a hard time seeing the front cutting edge on my bucket. Oh, those yeah. teeth come out. So um, I'd actually appreciate it if you're micromanaging me. Yeah. If you're getting right in there and saying a little yeah. higher, a little lower. Yeah, all right, I'm that's driving, fine, that's fine. Now you would think that I could be able to dig level right there, but I always have trouble. I seem like I either can't quite get deep enough or I'm digging too deep. The funny thing is when I have someone guiding me really close, they have trouble directing too. And I think the main reason for that is it's just hard to see right where the cutting edge is on the bucket. What I want to do is once we get this section at grade level, just go around and then just do a backhoe scoop and put it back down. I think, I can, I think I can dig in with my teeth. Oh, all right, okay. Uh, I don't want that dirt hauled away because I think we got too much. Oh. Yeah, yeah I got yeah, too much. too low. Yeah, I, I wasn't watching. I should have been okay. watching you. were certainly well grounded. Wow, yes. <laughs> okay, here's another time where I'm doing what I'm not supposed to be doing. You have to be really careful using the teeth pointed downward, tilted like that. You put a lot of pressure on the hydraulics. I do it because it's so effective, but it could burst a hose or break the cylinder end. Is that the kind of thing you were yeah, talking about? Yeah, that looks good. About tilting? Yeah. Yeah, just, to, just enough to break it up a little bit and That'll make it uncover any of those surprise roots. Yeah, yeah that was a big surprise there. Wasn't yeah. You? Didn't see well, that's, that's, I ran into, I cut a couple of those things off over the years and so forth, but that bush is like a freaking weed. <laughs> yeah, I, I brought in about, I don't know, maybe 15 yards of soil. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. To do all these beds. And then I hauled a lot of it out. Nice 
day, isn't it? Here. I bet it's cool where he just dug that soil. Daisy, get out of there. Kind of just level it off as the best you can. Take one run through there and kind of level it off a little bit. I think that's manageable now. Okay. I can grade it out a little bit better and smoother. And... Well, we've had a good time with the dogs here this afternoon. We yeah. definitely have. I think Jim's happy with the way oh, yeah. he's got his beds laid out here. We've taken some dirt away and we're re kind of, you know, stirred up some of the rest. Just, got wow, some roots we took out. a lot of dirt away. I believe we could put a little bit more on here and still have not had any trouble with our truck. I, I'm, I'm estimating somewhere around four or 5,000 pounds on it right now. But I don't believe I would have felt too bad putting it up to the, you know, about all you could put on the... Uh, leveling it off? Well, not leveling it, but even having it humped and, you know, using these 11-inch sideboards. You see, it doesn't look like much dirt, but it's a 16-foot trailer. Mm -hmm. The big issue is going to be whether the hoist can actually lift it up. So we're just putting this on our new property. We'll spread it out in the field or something later this fall after the corn's out. It's just a way to get rid of it. Looks like it's gonna dump. I hope so. I mean, that's kind of what we see here. See, this is so close to the ground that we have trouble dumping stuff in a big pile. Yeah. I think it would have to tilt a lot higher to dump a taller pile, but even then I'm not sure it would. So that's one of the negatives of the real low profile that we've got. That's all she wrote. It works, Dad. Well, here we are again. Yeah. This is the home of Tractor Time with Tim's favorite dog. <laughs> During the week since our last visit, Jim had been busy planting all of his new plants and trees and stuff. Well, he had encountered a lot more dirt, so we were here to take away the excess. We didn't need the tooth bar for this because all the dirt was stuff he had just put there recently with his wheelbarrow and shovel. It was kind of surprising how much dirt there was. We had just removed all the excess a few weeks before. She wants nothing to do with you with that tractor running. Come here, Kelly. Here, I'll throw it for you. Here, come here. Come here. Come here. I'll throw it for you. Bring it here. Here. Bring it here. <laughs> oh, you like my hat? Now you drop it. The dog needs a lesson in safety around tractors. When Jim originally called Tim, 
he thought the dirt would fit on the trailer along with the tractor. Um, and then as he probably did a little bit more of his flower beds, decided that it was a good bit more dirt than, um, than he thought it was. So we're gonna have to take this, haul it away and dump it somewhere and come back and get Johnny. This is the exact type of project we got the dump trailer for. This is why we went to the extra effort to get a trailer that not only is a flatbed car hauler type, but is also a dump trailer. Hey, check out DKTrailers.com and you can get your own. Tell Brad I sent you. I think this one goes right towards that trunk. Yeah. I'm going to try to dig it out a little bit more. And what did you call your plants you're replanting? Buckingham Thin Line, I think. I don't think they're from this country. I think they're from overseas somewhere. Okay. They're not native to Indiana, I know that. <laughs> they look like they'd make a good hedge, like what yeah. you're doing. I, I think we're good, really. If you want to just come over here and pull that root out, that'd be good. Uh, without the tractor, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a challenge. I, I thought of this the other day. Women cannot have enough shoes, right? Right. Men cannot have enough tools. Right, yes. <laughs> but uh, there, there's one uh, inequality there that she so eloquently points out. What's that? My toys are a lot more expensive than hers. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, you know what? They're a lot more fun. <laughs> hey! Christy, you reckon we can pull this out like this? I've never tried with a strap before. I don't know. Um, put them on cans, bolt-on hooks. That's what I'm going to do. I, I think you can do it if it doesn't uh, I don't know slide if it goes, off. I'm afraid it goes to that tree there. Here, hang yeah, on. Well, I'm Christy. sure that's where it goes. Christy, okay. not only are these Ken's bolt-on hooks, this is Ken's hook-on strap. Oh. Yeah, wow. you can get these straps at Ken's bolt-on hooks, too. Okay. Here we go. Hold on, let me wrap it. One more. There you go. I can't see at all what I'm doing. It's coming. It's coming. Keep going. Oh, wow. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh there you, you go. It. You just eventually the, the roof broke. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, you know, I <laughs> You need one of these, Jim. I, I you know you take all the fun out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh you want well, to come take? on, you're smiling a lot more. Yeah, and I was wondering how I was gonna get that out of there. <laughs> you're like a Robin Hood of tractor drivers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I've done it with a strap. A chain works a lot better. It, it gets hooked around it a lot tighter. Now I just need to get somebody to come over here and I'm thinking if I go to bed early enough, I'll wake up and... It'll all be done? It'll, plant. It'll all be planted. You better go ahead and go to bed. <laughs> yeah. I better start the first one just so they get the idea. Yeah. <laughs> I think what's amazing is this thing is a dumper. Yes, I'm glad we don't have to go shovel this yeah. Hey, stop, copping, stop calling my trailer names. <laughs> <laughs> it's really kind of a fun project tonight, and it was fun to play with the dogs a little bit. That Kelly dog, it's still tractor time with Tim's favorite dog. Yeah, sweet dog. And we weren't really prepared tonight as well as we should have been. Yeah, I really need to get me some sort of a, a larger toolbox that I put in the truck. It would have to be lockable, and I guess it kind of needs to be kind of heavy because it needs to be something somebody can't just pick up and steal. Right, yeah. Maybe we can begin to have some spare parts with us too. You mean that thing can lift you up? Yep. If I see you coming down, I'll know that's the last of it. Yep. Well, it didn't all come out. Now for the fun part, I get to drive up. Keep going. What do you think? This is kind of fun. Well, I'm trying to figure out, is this a good time to say, hey, Christy, I need a new tractor? <laughs> I don't think so, Tim. Okay. When That's will your right? answer change? Huh? When will your answer change? I got bologna in the refrigerator. I can make it a little while. I think I'm going to lose this battle. I might as well give in. It's like a big playground slide now. 
Yeah. It's pretty from up here. You can see the neighbor's cows. Yeah. It comes down slowly, but it comes down surely. I think that about does it for this episode, Christy. I think so. We got to get Johnny. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And we'll see you next time on Track Your Time, time with Tim. Tim. That was a lot of good.